We saw the squirrel. We were so chuffed. Like, oh my God, we can afford this house. It's got squirrels. We buy it. Don't even care what it looks like inside. And when we got inside, you know they use all that estate agent lingo where they basically lie to you. That's what they do. Oh no, it's charming. It's char- charming means out of date. If it's got a mustard bathroom suite, it's just charming. Cuck wallpaper, it was charming. It was charming, very charming feel. Rustic, the other one. Oh, the kitchen had a lovely rustic feel. We walk in, it's like, oh, it's nice and rustic, eh? And uh, they, this is how much she was bullshitting. There was a leak. And then you know how she played, tried to play it off? And it's got a water feature. <laughs> a fixer upper, that's the other one. Mm, it's a little fixer upper. Basically, if it's a fixer upper, you can use the foundation and one wall. That's it. <laughs> I love this one. The bedrooms are cozy. Look, like cozy bedrooms, and you walk in like. TLC. That, I thought they were, like, that is the one where they're not lying. They say, oh, it's in need of TLC. They don't mean tender loving care. They mean total lost cause. That's what they mean. <laughs> so we bought this house. First house, beautiful. It was like a nice, charming, rustic fixer upper. I liked it. <laughs> Bedrooms were cozy. I just needed some TLC. It was cool. Bought it, moved in. It's lovely. I never saw, I lived there for five years. I never, ever saw that squirrel ever again. <laughs> I think it was a Pam Golding Properties trained <laughs> squirrel. As we signed the offer to purchase, that woman went outside with a cage. Well done, well done. We fooled them again. Well done. 